All right, guys, it's Zyclone and all. Now, at this point of the build, you know, this is the c most complicated part when you're looking everything up and everything, getting everything dialed in. But at this point of the build, you know, we've got the battery hooked up, and it's going over to the BEC. Of course, for anybody who doesn't know, the BEC's job is to cut that, which on this one would be 11.1 volts. Right now, it's a 7.4, but it's to cut that 7.4 volts into 5 volts that the radio can use. So it's 7.4 volts going in here from the LiPo over there. You guys can see it comes down this line. It's 7.4 in, and then it is 5 volts out right there and this is a switchable BEC this is a term SBC 26 V it's rated at 8 to 26 volts but 7.4 it could still handle it and the way you check that before you plug this into your receiver and risk damaging the fine micro circuits in the receiver here you need to check these things right here with the voltmeter and make sure that it is 5 volts being put out. It could be a little bit, a bit above 5 volts, like in this case, we're getting 5.15 on the output. But make sure it ain't 7, 6, 7, or 8, or something like that, because you could fry the small micro circuitry inside the receiver here. Now, the servos, I'm using the Emax. Of course, my chopper's got to have the best Metal Gear servos. Uh, you can see the Metal Gear right there. We haven't got the plates on everything, because right now, we're just going to center all the servos, and then we're going to hook it up in the radio and make sure everything is functioning. But at this point, it does seem to be, if you look, we've got the radio on right here. At this point, everything seems to be, you can see there's the aileron. And with the aileron, this side would be going down, the other side would be going up. So what we're looking for is opposites. Let me turn this more towards the light opposites in the way that the servos move so I guess if I hold the camera maybe right here real still when I push the L around now you'll see one goes one way the other the other way all around on the stick and then of course you'll be checking your back servo here for the motion on that on the elevator that's the elevator seems to be working now when we give it pitch on the left stick all of them should move and all of them does move. Don't worry about if anything in, uh, moves in the wrong direction because you just switch the channel over and you reverse it. But anyways, at this point, we're just wanting to see whether we have controls. We'll fine-tune that. And then, of course, you want to check the variable A up here because that will adjust the pitch. And you can see as this is turning, that's good. But eventually what I'm going to do with this switch and this switch is I'm going to have a camera on here. And this switch right here, when I turn it, it'll make the camera go pitch up and down like this. And then this switch, when I turn it, it'll make the camera rotate like this. And basically that's, that'll be by two servo motors or a motorized unit on a gimbal. But with this switch, the camera will go like this as I turn the dial. And with this one, it'll go left and right. So I'll be using this for the cameras, all these two channels here. But right now, it does affect the pitch. Then we want to check the auto up switch. Or I have it channeled to this side, yes. If that alters the pitch of the blades and things like that, because it's supposed to, you'll have a different setting for idle up and idle down. You program all that into the radio, which is where we'll be today sometime soon, is doing the fine, delicate program. But at this point, you're just worried about whether you've got one power out to the receiver, two all the right channels working properly. If you don't, you'll need to go into the radio and reprogram it for CPM helicopter, because it's possible your radio is programmed to airplane mode, four channel, whatever. You'll need to get it to the three channel helicopter mode, because on a helicopter, it's not just the aileron and elevator, but also blade pitch. And blade pitch has to make this swash plate go all of them collectively. It's collective pitch, meaning all together has to push up like this. Your right stick here will make this go all around, you know, front or frontwards, backwards, side to side. So, for instance, on side to side, this our servo should pull down. That should push up, but they should do equally. I mean, if this pushes down, say, 
three parts and this pushes up six parts obviously it's two to one movement here you've got to equalize that so basically that's what the mixing comes in but right now it seems like everything's functioning it's gonna be a fantastic fucking board i've got the vec and everything and uh a huge battery for it actually where the fuck is it i don't care but uh right now We've got controls, folks, so the drone is almost up, and I'll see you guys.